This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin figure by Playmates. It looks cool, but is it? Welcome to Retrobot, the YouTube channel where we feed a friendly space robot a diet of pure nostalgia. I'm Clay, and today we are looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Last Ronin figure. And uh, this is a peeks and pokes review, so we're just going to take a quick peek at him, and we're going to poke at him again. Now, you can see from this figure that it is highly detailed, and it does feature a lot of points of articulation. It also comes with lots of little extras. We have a pair of size here, which are removable and can be placed in the belt. And we can place the other one in the belt. Oh, 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 here took a tumble and you can place that in the belt here he comes with a sword and a bow staff that also go in the belt uh he also comes with nunchucks that go in the hands uh there is no place on the belt for the nunchucks which is uh which is a little bit disappointing also uh he is very very beautifully detailed and cart and accurate to the comic book, but uh, with all of this molded rubber stuff on him, all these guards, the cloak, the hood, and everything, it's actually very hard to move him into many different poses. And the, the last thing that I will note about this figure is that uh, I've put him onto a stand so that he's able to stand up uh, because the uh, the feet are kind of hard to position because of the shin guards, you really don't get much ankle movement. It's hard to plant his feet in a way that he can balance comfortably. So, uh, so yeah, a stand is important, and unfortunately the figure does not come with a stand. Now, that being said, especially if you are a fan of the Last Ronin comic book series, or just a long-term Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, and if you love having gorgeous figures that you can display on your shelf, then this guy will look great on a shelf. He will also look great in Instagram photos, but, uh, but be aware that you will have to find a stand that you can stand him up and uh, try not to lose the nunchucks if he's not holding them. Also be aware that it does come with a broken sword which I still have in the box because I didn't want to lose the pieces, and throwing stars. So you, you get all sorts of cool little choking hazards with this toy that, uh, that make it an awesome collectible. I mean, an absolutely awesome collectible and uh, beautiful packaging, but be aware there are some limitations with the articulation and uh, and just keeping him upright can sometimes be a challenge. So that's it. That is a, a quick peek at the last Ronin and a few pokes at him. Keep your eyes on this channel for a full short circuits review, which uh, which the link for that will be posted in the description below. So. With that being said, if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and consider joining our Patreon. This is Clay telling you, yes, you, right? No, no, not, not you, uh, behind you. Yeah, yeah, you, you, to keep it retro bot. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Last Ronin. It's a good comic. If you haven't read the comic, read the comic. It is really, really good. Uh, Kevin Eastman and, and, and Eastman and Laird together again after years of not being together. It, it, it's awesome.